Or what if Anders, yeah, Anders hadn't found my license? Don't overthink it, Lemon. Stranger things happen every day. I once saw an internet video of a mouse and a bird that are friends. Don't overthink it. Tonight, a repulsive act occurred at a hotel in Midtown. There are two possible explanations as to how this event came to be. A simple one and a complex one. The simple explanation is that I went to a discotheque and a handsome, interesting man fell for me. In the wake of my breakup, I allowed myself to have an experience that gave me reason to be hopeful about the future again. Very simple. Uh, great, I think we're done here. Please, monsieur. There remains, of course, the complex explanation. A vast conspiracy involving multiple agents and precise, coordinated efforts. A conspiracy that begins with the timely food poisoning of Donna Strunk. And who here has access to Donna's food? The second peculiar event, I lose my license, allowing it to be found by a handsome stranger. Serendipity, perhaps? But how does one lose one's license out of a malfunction-proof Velcro Philly sport wallet? Someone must have had access to my fanny pack. I only want an ibuprofen. Then why is my ibuprofen bottle still sealed? <laughs> And then there's the matter of the wine. Four glasses, and yet I was wide awake. Was my uncharacteristic energy perhaps due to the giddiness of the evening? Or was someone slipping me black market organ slimming pills? Liz, I wouldn't. <sighs> the conspiracy continues. What pushed me out of the club when I was wavering about leaving with Anders? Yeah, I came here with my friends, so I'm just gonna stay here. Let's put the What, this? I got hit by a bird on a roller coaster. Even the club was strange, almost as if it had been designed specifically for me. But who has the resources and the connections to create a Liz Lemon themed club in one day? You had to sign your crime, didn't you? You're the one who gave me those monk DVDs. And what was the final straw? It was Anders saying, it's never too late for now. A coincidence that I took as a sign from the universe. Also, it's just a great song that Pete wrote. Thanks, man. Sound Mountain rocks the town. Hey, shut up, both of you. So how did Anders even know that phrase? How did Anders seem to know everything about me? It's white wine, ice cubes, and Sprite. She calls it funky juice. I don't know if I want to do this. There's only one question I can't answer. Who was Anders? An old Harvard chum of twofers? The son of one of Jack's senator friends? He certainly wasn't a Swiss prostitute that Martha Stewart recommended to me. And that is the complex explanation. Of course, such a conspiracy would require a group of people who knew me so well and cared about my happiness so much that it's impossible to believe. No one could ever be that lucky. Which is why I choose the simple explanation. I choose to believe that last night Liz Lemon went out, got some, and felt good about it. And so I say goodbye to spinsterhood. Goodbye to giving up and to, oh God, a hawk got her. <laughs>